I like that logo. You did. It I did. Logo. The, the, the trailer park show. It looks very mystical. You mean a weirdo like you're on acid or something? Yes. They all think it's we're very mystical. Or something out there. And like, we're yeah, on. Yeah, all, right. <laughs> all, right. all right. Folks, welcome back to the trailer park show. We are we are here. It's the four of us, and and uh, we kind of like it that way today. We've had we had a, a busy week. It's very been good. and it's going to be a more busy week. Yes. Woo! We uh, are excited about the opportunity to uh, this. Uh, celebrate. The pre well, the 4th of July, but we do it a week before and uh, go out there and, and show our true patri pa patronism of being, uh, being proud to be an American. Honoring veterans and honoring celebrating America. And honoring our veterans, not only the veterans themselves, but their families. Because many people don't, if they don't realize, uh, when uh, the veteran goes off overseas, takes the family, well, you know, the family is gone for about a w year or two years. I know I, yeah. I know that my sister was in uh, England, well, was in Europe for almost seven years. So we didn't get to see probably her. Probably half my, that time, my uh, nephews, her husband was probably deployed. Yeah, he was deployed while she was living. I think she was in Germany, I can't remember. Yeah. But anyway, uh, this Saturday at 8 o'clock, if you uh, line up, we'll start our lineup at Cesa Chavez and Broadway. Right there, East Side, East Side Lumber, Lumber Company. Same, same place last time. Same, same place, place as last, last time. year. We'll begin the lineup at eight o'clock. The parade will take off at nine. Thanks to uh, City Manager Mark Ott. He finally Mayor got off his duff. He finally Cheryl, got off his duff. Yep, and Mayor Pro Tem Cheryl Cole. What? For all their help in what? making this parade a reality uh, this year. It's a TV show. Uh, we do have our signs. We put them out on Cesa Chavez yesterday. Hey, sister to uh, announce a parade and to have y'all come out and join us. Once the parade arrives at Fiesta Garden, which will probably uh, be around 10 a.m. Slow, slow, uh, back up just here a minute. Okay. I had to miss it with that phone call. Uh, 9 o'clock, we're going to leave from, from uh, Eastside Lumber, East Lumber, East Lumber Company. 
We should get to the park by 10.30? By 10, uh, about 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock? 10 o'clock. So by 10.30, we're going to start gonna The cops are going to be pushing everybody. Yeah. The cops are everybody yeah. The cops are going to be pushing everybody to get out of the way because, you know, they want to take care and, of the traffic. And, and right now <laughs> we have... Uh, well, I did tell them that we would hurry up to cross Pleasant Valley. Jay, uh, <laughs> we have Jay Colunga's Body Shop that will be providing the low riders. For Hold on, those, can't you see me out there? Come on, let's those, go! Uh, <laughs> uh, healthy veterans that can no longer take a 1.2 mile... <laughs> <laughs> I, you got to put me in one of the cars or something. And we also got the double decker. <coughs> oh, really? Yeah, the double decker will also be in the parade. You're telling me this. Yes. This uh, is the first time. This is the first time. And again, thanks to uh, Chief Acevedo. Yes. Chief Acevedo for, for, was uh, real instrumental at the ninth. I mean, I think we were in overtime. Yeah, we, I we mean, were, we, we, were, were, <laughs> we were at the like 11, 11th hour, 30 minute timeline. Yeah. And we sent, you know, Whoever called, whoever called them, and then, of course, we did some tweets to them saying, hey, what are you going to do to respect the veterans? Because I had some perfect one-liners to give them when it came to grabbing your ankles and, and getting, giving, it to, uh, giving help to all these other people except for your veterans. Uh, you know, but we'll, we'll leave those as is because, you know, the, high, the tide it is It did moving. look like we weren't going to have a parade this year. Any uh, candidate that will be on the November ballot may join us in this parade, and we welcome you and your supporters to come out, walk, jog, uh, no or cars. rider vehicle, oh, low, they rider, ride a ve low rider bicycles. Uh, this is a walking parade? This is a walking parade as well. Uh, you, you can, can walk, walk it, yeah. Some oh, people did walk it last time. We also have... Oh, the uh, land road. I rode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. We're veterans. We get to ride. Oh, yeah, okay. the veterans okay. get to ride. Okay. And uh, the public in general can either walk, run alongside with us. If you have a bicycle, you're a biker, you can join us as well. We're going to uh, be getting uh, Pokey one of those H-E-B uh, scooters. Scooters? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what about Obama? Isn't he going to give me one? No, you got the, the walker. I got the Obama walker. Got the Obama walker. To do. Once we arrive at Fiesta Gardens, the Cristo Rey Jamaica will be in progress. But we'll have a short military ceremony, uh, once again, to recognize the veterans, their families, and those that are no longer with us. And that'll be that starting about 10.30. That right? should start around 10, 10.30, right around there. Uh, and right after the, the ceremony and the recognitions and the speakers, I think we have, well, our Grand Marshal, David, uh, Pastor David Perez, make a couple of comments. Uh, and then we'll start with Los Wranglers. Los Wranglers will they're, be They're a great band. They're a great band. Uh, I still uh, got Billy Saputh's shirt on. Country West. That's right. They, they, played at, they played at his fundraiser. He's a police officer that ran for city council. Yeah. I don't know how long ago. Yeah. Hmm. Well... Uh, I still got his shirt. <laughs> we'll have plenty of information booths, uh, 311, code enforcement. Uh, City of Austin, Austin Energy. Austin I, Energy. I wanted to ask. Uh, uh, the Travis County Republican yeah, Voter yeah. Registration. Boop, boop. Yeah. Would any of these candidates be allowed to get a booth there, just for information purposes? Not, no. No, because, uh, again, we feel that that will take over the... The overall it's not a veterans. it's not a campaigning no, event. It's, it's a, a support to it's, it's a, it's a honor veterans and and, and, more, and and another thing is because Lulac's a, a nonprofit, we don't want to jeopardize that, and uh, so we're being real careful as to making sure that but fine the line isn't Travis crossed. Travis County Republican Party is is there for voter registration, for voter registration, and to show support for veterans and show support for veterans. I attend. I was sharing with uh, Pokey that I attended the uh, November Veterans Parade Committee meeting last week. And they discussed the issue of last year's uh, Veterans Parade where uh, there were citizens that were complaining that certain candidates that were in the parade were advocating for the election of certain candidates. So some veterans wrote to the American States and the editorial board and said that that was unjust, it was totally out of line. That Who was it? Uh, Bridget Che oh. for commissioner. And then there was another one, I can't think the, the name of But anyway. Uh, Are you all Democrat? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, go figure. So, okay, go figure. No, no offense, no offense, but, but go figure. Uh, Come on. <laughs> we also have a uh, pet, no, what is it? Uh, not not pet, uh, a, a massive, what do you call it? The pet, uh, in ma oh, the uh, pets, uh, Austin Pets Alive? No? No, it starts with an M. But anyway. Uh, Something to do with dogs and cats. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. They give shots. Oh, yeah, the, the, the big dog. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, it's a breed. Uh, Mastiff? You know, with the slobber all the time, all this stuff. No, no, no. The now, organization is named... Uh, I thought it was for the big breed dog. No, no, no. They go out to different uh, rec centers and communities and do free shots. Oh, that, that group. That group. So you can bring your animal? 
So you can bring your animal. animal. Mary, Mary Jane, Pat. look at over there, man. Mary Jane will be in the parade. Mary Jane. Her third parade she'll be in, and she'll like some company. Mary Jane. <laughs> <laughs> but My little dog's legs are too short. I also got word this morning that the, there she is. That the, Knights, Mary of, Jane. That the Knights of Columbus Mary will also Jane. participate in our oh, parade nice. for the Mary first Jane. year. Wow. Uh, they had, for whatever reasons, couldn't do it the last two years. But There's I did it. share with them uh, on the website that Knights of Columbus throughout the country do Fourth of July parades. So that kind of said, oh, okay, well, we'll do it. We better uh, be there. You know, yeah. Well, good. So we'll have plenty of food, plenty of, of uh, food uh, booths. Non-alcoholic beverages, non of course. It's a non-alcoholic event. Mm -hmm. Unless you bring it in your flask. Or and unless you come under the influence already. <laughs> <laughs> it might be a little early for the morning, even for me. I mean, are you kidding? It's perfect time. Mm. But, okay, uh, you're right. We we'll also have some performances <laughs> by some dudes. <laughs> no alcohol. Uh, so, I mean, I think you can bring in your, your little fifth of whiskey or whatnot and take a shot every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you leave it in your car and then walk oh, out over to your vehicle, cross it. It is a Catholic event, and you will be there uh, oh. live. Yes, we'll, we'll be we'll be uh, broadcasting live on on the uh, on Blog Talk again. Um, hopefully, we'll have uh, Doug from uh, T-Span. Think we'll, so? Yeah, we're going to talk we're gonna, about this in a little while. Yeah, we'll we'll, um, we'll pop, if if everything goes well, we can may have the opportunity um, to stream live. But I got to talk to some people, and we can probably do some uh, live streaming of, of the show. And uh, talking about fun stuff. T we, we, don't want, we don't want to make the Catholics, you know, upset because you know the Pope came out today and said, you know, the mobs are excommunicated. Well, that's mm. good. That's mm. that's mm. good. Well, excuse the the pun, but the bishop has <laughs> 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 the Pope. The, the Pope's pope. got some wiggle. Right? <laughs> he got some cojones. He got some cojones. Yeah, huh? He's got some big cojones. Uh, I was surprised about that one, but we'll leave that. We'll probably have to save that for another conversation. <laughs> he stepped up his security yeah. this week as well. <laughs> <laughs> the Pope Mobile is double plated now. Uh, but, uh, he will not be stepping out kissing babies. Come back here to T span. I mean, T span okay. like T span for Texas. Let me just finish right? off with a parade. And All right. I, and well, we can come back to our parade after our pictures too. Our big sponsors are one's the City of Austin, Austin Energy, Univision. Yeah, we like that. Lulac. And El Concilio Mexican American Neighborhood. And, 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 the, trailer park show. and the Trailer Park Show. Trailer park. Go. go ahead. Uh, <laughs> C SPAN. T SPAN well, is like C SPAN for Texas, right? Correct. It's, it's conservative. It's, it's conservative. T SPAN. T. Right. T. Right. It's well, like C SPAN, yes, exactly. but for Texas. Oh, Correct. Okay, so okay. it's Texas SPAN. But we can, uh, but we can talk a little bit about because everything in Texas is big, so we have our own stuff. It's okay. a satellite exactly. thing. It's so, uh, but yeah, we had. So we can we can transition over to. Uh, Will he be there? I don't know. We'll find out. But uh, we can transition over to the Juneteenth celebration that, that we were there at. Um, yeah, we just segue. we just had the Juneteenth celebration last weekend, last Saturday. Last was, Saturday, we had. It was really a lot of fun. It was, it was some great good stuff. Food. Marilyn Jackson and her crew had the uh, fried Twinkies. Did they have oh fried Twinkies? Did I, you ever I, come up with I, it? They, I did not try hey. one. I was told I, I was going to try one, but I ended up having hey, to <laughs> the call for Mary Jane. Oh. Hey. Oh, man. Mary Jane no, says hi. Yeah. Okay. Got Isn't it, show. Mary Jane. Mary Jane has her has her has her own fan club. You gotta love you gotta love it when a dog See, has a fan club. We, we should we should create a Facebook page for Mary Jane. We should have another dog show, I guess. Mary <laughs> well, I've been I've been told out there. What about a cat show? Why are our cats not being aired on the trailer park? Because I'm allergic Only to them. Only dogs. Is that right? I'm allergic to it. Well, we've had an uh, Austin Pencil Live been in here before, I think twice over the years. Mary Jane. <laughs> because dogs are cuter. Yeah. Oh, wow. And she's so, talking. She's talking. Yeah, how do you get a you cat see, to do this uh, kind of stuff? Okay, Mary Jane's already spoken. We can't have any cats. Okay. Yes, Mary Jane says no cats. That's Sorry right. about that. So, but let's go back. Let's go. go ahead. Let, let's talk a little bit about some, of the, about some of the great stuff that happened this weekend. You know, Grant, we have this great parade that's coming up. Um, last week, this past Saturday, we had a, a great event over with the Juneteenth celebration. And over what at is Park. Juneteenth? What is that, Pokey? It's when the, uh, the Yankees Puppets. came in and told them that they're all free in 1865. So June who? 19th. So who? Is that when your folks said, y'all are free? <laughs> 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 well, who they tell? I like to point out that not all black people in America were slaves. Mm. Some of them owned slaves. Mm. Mm. And do you know that black soldiers in the Confederate Army carrying weapons? got paid the same as white soldiers in the Confederate Army. Mm. Uh, Yankee black soldiers who were carrying weapons got paid half what a white man got paid. Three-fifths uh, roll. So if you mm. really want to look, if you go to trailerparkshow.com, 
and punch in the first Rainbow Coalition, I think it's called. Mm. And that's where I actually have facts and figures on... Uh, so we're talking about Rainbow Coalition as in, as in the black community, not the LGBTQ community. That's the name Just want to make sure. organization. I can't read this. It's hardly cool. lucky. Lord, here we go. Uh, no, it's about the uh, member of... Emancipate... Yeah. And Bradley and Harley Lucky Hounds. Emancipate and Harley Lucky Hounds. Emancipate Lucky Hounds. What does that mean? Emancipate is emancipation uh, free Emancipate. to slaves. I'm sorry. Emancipate. Emancipate. Yeah. Emancipate. See, that's what happens when we all have to read and we're getting older. Yeah, I had to do my even my bifocals right. and I wasn't catching Emancipate. Okay. Anyway, uh, you can well, go there. for watching. At least we know we have one. <laughs> 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 yeah. We need to get our phones out. Yes. <laughs> yeah, let's have your glasses, bro. I think... Glasses won't do. We need bifocals. Yes. Well, I got bifocals that they didn't do. I have bifocals. <laughs> All right. Yeah, she does have bifocals. I, I, <coughs> uh -oh. I have contacts on. Oh, man. <laughs> Still can't see. <laughs> Hello, girl. So, <laughs> oh, uh, it's uh, a okay. uh, rainbow coalition. Rainbow coalition. Okay. From, from the it's, 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 you, you, it's, a lot of people just don't, don't understand the number of, uh, of black men, Hispanic, and uh, Native Americans that were in the Confederacy. The last uh, flag officer to surrender <laughs> was a Cherokee Indian. What? And I like here in Texas, Texas hero, Colonel Benavides, <laughs> who went on for politics here in Texas as well yeah. in the 1860s and 70s. Mm -hmm. She's a good so, 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 man. But so, anyway, so Juneteenth June, was June, when they came into Galveston. So, so basically, and, Lincoln said the slaves are free. Well, he did that way and, back. And but January 1st, word and, didn't get around. And word, so word didn't get around to two years later to, in Texas, in Galveston. Well, when the war was over and they came to Galveston and said, don't shoot, the war is over. And by the way. Your buddy, your buddy Lee done surrendered last year. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And us Texans were still wanting to, we didn't, they didn't have the internet back then. And know. by the way, y'all's are free. By, yeah. the, by the way, the, the, the slaves Yo, are free. Yo, folks, I'm telling you about that sooner. Y'all's are free. About, uh, that, about that mail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, we're all, it just, instead of freeing the slaves, you're pretty much just enslaved all of us. See, you even, back in the eight, store and, even back in the 1800s, you couldn't trust the federal government. Mm. It took too long. <laughs> took too long back yeah, in the uh, 1800s. They still take it too long. Their, their hard drive, their hard drive was uh, recycled. Now, wasn't this a, a Republican administration? It was all Republicans that did that. Yes, so the, the that's right. Pony Express must have <laughs> taken a long while. But well, at least that Republican president, did, he did sign it. Yep. It went, in, you know. So that's well, you know, a good it's thing. It's interesting uh, of, of that history that the Republican Party makes, in. and then you go. More recently, with uh, Reagan mm. on the immigration issue, when he uh, yeah. gave him amnesty, uh, but like I always say, that was an economic deal. Mm. You know, the ranchers in California were saying, "Hey, no one wants to pick our crops. Mm. Not even your your cousins, your <laughs> nephews, <laughs> yeah. in your district. Not your cousins are mine." Mm. So mm. The, the 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 ranchers in California had a president in the White House. He said, "Okay, we'll take care of this right now." Yeah, mm. I think you did damn good, President. Too. Yeah. <laughs> Well, y'all have the uh, annual what Reagan Reagan, Reagan, Reagan banquet yeah. on Travis County Republican Party. Reagan mm -hmm. Reagan. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so, so, uh, yeah, so, so we had there's a lot of history behind. Yeah, so real quick, there's a lot of history behind Juneteenth, especially here in Austin, where they've been celebrating it since like the 1930s, and it is a big annual event, and it's great. It's a great event with food, music, fun, whole family, a little warm, and there's a lot of walking. And, and the cool part about, about it, the parking. Yeah. Parking was kind of an issue. Actually, I, I parked really close. I got lucky. I got lucky, and I parked up really, 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 really well, close. Well, when you show really up beautiful. at 6 a.m. No, I showed up at 8. I showed up at 8, and, and I found a, a nice little spot that I can fit my car in and kind of put it in sideways. It was great. So I put kept it in sideways and made it, huh? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Show some pictures, Mom, and so, we so we had, So we were able to do that part. It was, it was nice and pretty. Um, we got, oh, we got to sit in, yeah, on the Juneteenth, we got, and then we, we were up in the Travis County Republican Party. Uh, we were up on, on top uh, by the, in the gazebo area near uh, Rosewood, near the Rosewood. Uh, oh, there's a, uh, uh, Cheryl, Park. no, it's Cheryl, uh, uh, Travis County. Oh, Travis County. Uh, uh, voter Register Trainer. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. Oh, I was delivering right. tacos. I, like right. nah, I had t-shirts. Yeah, I actually had some t-shirts. Yeah, we got t-shirts delivering tacos. <laughs> and carrying a soda. Priority. <laughs> There you go. What, what did, what it did was on top of that. Uh, that's just. Oh, that's a Travis County. No, no, that's the. Uh, that's a voter registration. That's the voter registration that's Travis County. Nearby. Yeah. Right, for Travis County. We were up by the swimming pool, if uh, you know where. No, no, I thought y'all had it. Oh, we, we did. We have we a did. tent, too. I think you'll see we pictures did, but we had, in a minute. We had, uh, we had a really nice uh, route there. 
There's uh, uh, the medal for the one. The medal for the one, James Dickey. I was really, I was really impressed with um, with Mr. Dickey because, <coughs> he, you know, he actually, yeah. he actually, he actually, he walked down there. He he started talking to people, getting them, there he is know, there. communicating with them, getting their emails and stuff like that, and telling them what the Travis County Republican Party does. I was, I was very, very excited by him. He actually motivated me. So, yeah. Yeah. So, well, I, I uh, some excited. of his ideas. Uh, there's uh, Bruce Elfont and. You know, uh, I, I got to bring something up about this All event. Right, hold on here, Mo. Okay, so so we have Bruce Alfont there. Okay, we took a He's picture of him just, just to go ahead and be been there. He, the he was on the show. He was. We did the we did the uh, blog talk last year. Now on the in, in the in the area that we were located at in the gazebo area, right next to us we had a, we had a, a um, the tent the with tent. the Travis, Travis, Travis County, County Party. party, party. It, there was a tent out there, and, and we were the, it was used so that we can take pictures. That as you, you'll see, there's some pictures in there. Um, we also were able to do interviews of people who were discussing about freedom. And how they, what they got saw quite a few. Freedom. They'll be coming out. And what happened was this: we asked Bruce Alfont and I forget the guy's name, he, Calhoun. I forget, I, uh, uh, District One candidate. He's been on this show too. Uh, I don't remember his name. Uh, yeah, he, he, he had a he whatever. had his Wendy Davis sticker on and said oh. Kirk Watson sticker on. He, he was there and he was talking. You know, and, <laughs> and we invited him to take a picture. And we said, Hey, how about this? How about, how about we do it in front of in front of the uh, Greg Abbott sign for him? In front of Greg Abbott. Well, you know, in front of one of our signs. Just to, it's it's nothing bad. You know, we're like, it's only fun. we can take a, front of, a picture in front of the Travis County booth or, or the, the, the tent. Okay, both guys. Okay, both de both guys, both Democrats. Bruce Alphon. Okay, Bruce Alphon is like a dead-on Democrat that that if that if you were to if you were to cut him, he'd be he'd bleed blue. Okay, both of them said no, and the reason why is because they did not want to get in trouble. They didn't think it was going to be right for them for Democrats to go out and take pictures in front of the Travis County Republican Party logo, and and they they were going to get in trouble. I'm like, really? And, and I'm like, you know, for for that for me that day it was a nice kumbaya day. I wasn't going to argue with anybody, you know. I was going to try to be nice with, with everybody. But today is not Saturday. And I'm like, what in the world is wrong with people who, who, who have to be so damn party partisan, partisan where, where if, if they're invited to come on to, to, the, to the table so that they can sit down and talk, and we say, hey, how about taking a picture over here? Because I like the... the, the, the what about that, Mom? It was... Whatever the we thing's took called. some pictures. The tent. The tent was great. I mean, right. it's a nice tent. We, we, it was. Be, I love it. And you it's know? an event, so we can come. We all come together, different parties. Well, yeah, the and Republican and Party, the you Democratic would think Party, that the Libertarian the, Party. That the voter registration office, Green Party, can be nonpartisan. Should be nonpartisan. Should be nonpartisan. Yeah. Should but, be you got, but, but you got damn Bruce Alfond, and I apologize. For, there he is with the uh, county with, chair. So yeah, but but they can't do it in front of there. It's like, oh my God. Okay, you're you're supposed to be nonpartisan at this whole damn thing, but yet you decide to go ahead and play party politics and say, oh no, I can't do it. I'd rather be caught dead. Essentially, what he said was this: I'd rather be caught dead, not you know. I'd rather Michelle be caught be there? dead than yeah, not doing Michelle it. Yeah, Michelle was there. I miss Michelle. See, I did manage to get into polls with uh, a bunch of Republicans. Did she show up at, from the side? Did she show up after? No, she was at the beginning. She was there at, at the beginning. beginning. Okay. Yeah. You know, it, it it was kind of asinine that you have people that, that are supposed to be nonpartisan decide to go ahead and do this, especially at a, at a yeah, especially at an event like this. It's like, man. Yeah, yeah you're right. Uh, James, uh, James got right out there in the crowd. And yeah, he did. He really did. I was really impressed <coughs> by James. Yeah, didn't he worked for you. Did you know what all? Yeah, he did. He really did. Uh, so he got right out there. I'm, I'm, I'm very uh, excited. There's uh, very ex Mike McNamara. Very excited about, you know, the future of the, the Travis County Republican Party. 10-4. Yeah, yeah we, uh, we'll be uh, out there at the parade, and there'll be plenty. We'll be we'll I, be think, I think he's going to gonna be more like like you're, you're saying, Gavino. You know, I think he's going to be more in the community mm -hmm. out there at these events. District 30 kids, don't flirt when people are talking. Boom. She's talking to me? Yes. Oh. <laughs> but it, it, it's just great stuff that, you know, you, you're right. Um, James Zicke has done some phenomenal stuff in this <coughs> election. And, and to see, one of, one of the things that I was very amazed was last year we had, what, four or five people that were there. Okay, we had yeah. 16 at least show up at, at the at, for this. For yeah, this event. there's a short that, of the crowd there. You know, that was part of the people that were that were there, and and yeah, it was, I, I was book. very humbled with the fact that we had people that were that were showing up that wanted to participate in in a time when last year people were like, well, why are we going in with, with a, why are we hanging out there? And it's like, come on, really? There's a and last year it was hot. It, it was, was hot. really hot last year. Last we had we had the, the we were blessed. Hey, Marilyn Jackson, Mike we, McNamara. We were blessed with uh, with great weather. It was cool. Mm -hmm. it, it was cloudy. Compared it was to last year, it was compared good. Compared to last year, it was great weather. It was mm -hmm. nice and cool, and, and I, we just it was fun. Quit mm -hmm. flirting. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
And we had uh, Doug, we had Doug, and I apologize if I said the last name incorrectly, Doug, Wa Doug Watkins from um, T-SPAN, who came in, uh, he came in to record the event from where we were at, at, at the party, and he, um, he saw that we were, get, we were setting up for the, uh, for, the per, or for, the, uh, in, for the blog talk show. And he says, how about we, we do this? Because he knew we were going to be doing interviews, and everything was all cool. And he says, how about, how about we record you guys? Great stuff. I mean, I was like, I'll, I'll, I'm like, I'm like getting all giddy. I'm like, how in the, this is great. Like, just perfect timing. Mm. So we got to stream this live. Um, on, on T-SPAN. People were watching. We got people listening. Um, we had uh, Corey Tabor. That was great stuff on, on, yeah, on that, there's on that Corey discussion there. there. And, and the one thing I do want to do is, is apologize to T-SPAN because we had, uh, if you guys noticed the pictures, we had the T-SPAN logo uh, right next to the B, uh, B First Media one. And unfortunately, it was upside down. What happened is that this was sliding down and we were trying to prop oh. it up. But with, with people moving at the table oh, and people no. doing all these other things, it, it flipped. And so when I was trying to pick it up back pick it back up, I didn't notice that it was mm -hmm. upside down. So I didn't notice. Uh, I wanted to apologize that. to that. Uh, apologize mm -hmm. to Doug about that because that, that was unintentional. And What was in that water? <laughs> tea. <laughs> <laughs> it was nice tea. Y'all seen that part where... Uh, Zola, yeah. Is it Cheech and Chong where they, he goes to the judge and he takes a drink with the judge is drinking water? It's mm. straight vodka. <laughs> 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 nice. Yeah, that, I, I just now yeah, noticed like all the people that showed up. All the, there was a lot of good people, people showed up. Oh, yeah. Showed up. It, was, it, it was just, it was truly awe inspiring. It that was. The, that, You're right. It was we, inspirational. That we had, like, like that you we said. had this, uh, these amount of people that were there um, who, uh, wanted to show, who, who wanted to show support. Be sure. Was the state know. senator there? No. 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 Oh, I don't know. He might have been, but he didn't come anywhere near us. You know, that, that's the new the new uh, canopy that we have. That's your new tent. Oh, yeah, new tent? see on the back of it? Can yeah. you see on the back? It's, it's got a real nice logo on the back. Yeah. Mary Lou Seraphine and uh, Mike, Mart uh, uh, Mike McNamara. County judge uh, candidate from our party. It's not Bruce Alfont. <laughs> Although there's, there's a little bit of a resemblance. But right. we'll, we'll leave that one alone. Um, Marilyn Jackson and uh, Mary Lou Seraphin again. I really like Gloria mm. Latte. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you know, I, I've got to say this: interesting woman. Let's leave it at that. Move on. Yeah, move on. <laughs> that one up. But it, it was a great time. I, yeah, I, I, see, there's lots of people you know, in our booth there. You, you can feel literally. You can feel energy in that in that in that area. It was, just people it was talking. Good. Just people talking about. Well, she stuff. couldn't I tell if I looking at me though. Uh, sitting on my. People were just. In, you know, people were, were glad to be there, and people that people that were afraid to show up last year showed up. Right. That was a big thing that we had that we had last year. No one wanted to show up because it's the heart of Democrat town, and blah blah blah. We had we had one of the doctors that was there. Um, oh, I love it. That's why I, I that's love the parade. That's the youngest uh, 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 precinct chair in the, in the Travis County Republican Party, right there. On the right. That's mm -hmm. the what? The, the youngest precinct oh, chair we have. said the largest. <laughs> no, that's either my. Son, I, I think that's me. No, I'm not the precinct chair. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, we know who that is. Who's that with you? Uh, yeah, that's not Senator Cornyn. Oh, uh, that's uh, the campaign manager for Senator uh, Cornyn. Senator uh, Cornyn. Darn. Senator Cornyn. What is his name? I thought it was Johnny Manziel. No. <laughs> no, uh, we know who it is. Yeah, him. <laughs> darn. How embarrassing. But just seeing, I mean, just. Yeah, was, look at the crowd. It was just, I mean, it was amazing for people. I gotta there. get that picture. And, Send that picture to me. And a lot of people here Same were out time. in the, were They're out. On, uh, down where, where, where the other tents were, they were, were you know, somewhere. they were out there talking to people. Uh, Adam Con, Adam Conman was, yeah. was was there, and he was talking about how many people he got with it. They, they had the tablets as, as we were talking about before. Um, I'm glad the Republican Party came out and wore their red yes. shirts. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> they joined me in and wore the red shirts. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> right there, you have uh, James Dickey showing the tablets where where we were doing surveys. If people needed to register to vote, they had the opportunity to vote on that tablet, but they also had an opportunity to take a survey about what was important to them mm. in regards to the United States. Nice. And so he, James probably did 10 within, he was out there for about 30 minutes. And he probably, he talked to like six people just to see how things were going and all that stuff. Um, Adam Kahn, I, if I remember correctly, he probably <coughs> did like 20 wow. yeah. in an hour, in less than an hour. Mm. People wanted to know. People wanted to voice their concerns, and and everybody was very surprised that we were there. Uh, people were very proud, very glad that we were there, talking 
You know, talking about stuff that they wanted to that they wanted to. Uh, what's the, what's the three things he said was was education, uh, uh, the legal system. Was immigration else. was nothing. Immigration was not no. a concern. It was jobs, taxes, and education, right. That's and not in that order. Well, you know, uh, there was another uh, survey that was done through the uh, U.S. Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, mm -hmm. and again, the top priorities. Jobs, education, health, and immigration like looks like fourth and fifth. Oh yeah. So there's the just hold on that picture for a while, Ma. Go ahead. The perception that immigration is a top issue for all Latinos is totally false. Exactly. Well, the Democrats try to push that with perception. Well, it's the media that's doing it. Well, yeah. well, yeah, yeah, okay, what's yeah, the yeah, difference okay. there? Mainstream because media. We like Benjamin Franklin as well. And his money. <laughs> economic <laughs> development. You know, for, um, education. I don't hardly get to see many of him. He's on the so uh, hundred dollar bill. That's right? what I'm talking about. We, we I only get I can't get past the grant on the fifty. <laughs> I don't even get very many of them. <laughs> okay, so so uh, going to this, the I, chat, if, anyway, I, if I may, I want to jump to this picture real quick. One of the things that we were that, that the Republican Party was doing is that they those individuals that agreed to do this, they got to sit down in, inside the tent, and uh, they. Had an camera? opportunity to talk. There's a camera right there where they had an opportunity to talk what, to what was important to them when it came to liberty, education, you know, stuff, something that was important to them when it comes to freedom. Mm -hmm. And so they had, they were talking there. They they spoke. They said whatever they wanted to say. Um, then what was going to what's going to happen with these is that these they're going to be all edited to make sure that they're all nice and pretty. They're going to put them on YouTube and then they're going to email them uh, the people back. Say hey, by the way, here's here's the link where you can have people um, see what you had to say. Mm. And it's, it's just some great stuff. I got that to hear one of the ladies uh, that was there, and, and she, you know, she said pretty good stuff. I was, I was, I was impressed. Yeah, this was, uh, <coughs> he's got to tr uh, do, uh, change the question up a little bit, and we're going to try it at the parade, too. Yeah. Uh, something concerning, I don't know what they, they think of this stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, there's another corny campaign. Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. Um, yeah, yeah, we're working on some stuff for the future with Senator Cornyn's office. Well, that's good. Yeah, get him on radio. Yeah, nice little outreach there. Yeah. Oh, are we going to have any of the, the folks out there Saturday afternoon? Yes, now? there's going to be several of uh, Senator Cornyn's campaign people out there. Okay. Some will be early. Some will be after three. Okay. Uh, I've been telling them it's going to go from about ten to well, ten to five or so. You guys going to get Ted Cruz office out there? Mm. I don't even know if we tried. No. I'm well, it seems for, like. I'm just harassing <coughs> you for a second. While Juneteenth, <laughs> while Juneteenth uh, uh, celebrates one freedom, I still feel there needs to be another freedom that they needs to be released and that. that they, Cinco, Cinco they, de Mayo? No, that, they, that, that, oh, yes. that, that the African community be released from the Democratic Party. Mm. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Holy cow, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I just got a short one, Le nothing to do with what they're talking Come about. On. Congratulations, Henry and Amanda, on the new addition to your family. I uh, hope you enjoy her. Uh, she was born this morning. Uh, I forget what her name is. But anyways, uh, good luck to both of y'all, and congratulations on your baby. Ooh, Ooh. Nice. Ooh. Hey, congratulations to Mexico. Three so, to one. So, they won oh, today. Did they really? Okay. Yes. They I won. heard America tied. And America, I guess I, I didn't. They get, said it was yeah, a, yesterday, it was a Sunday. Yesterday, yeah, yeah. They yeah. They yesterday, they tied. yesterday, they tied, and this tying goal was done right after one minute into overnight. It was like red in the last know second. What the Italians did? Cried. I think they went ah. home. <laughs> I gave up. But, uh, but anyway. Oh, uh, but, where were okay, we now? But I like that. So. So oh, they're they're only, they're they're emancipate the them from the Democrat emancipate them from the Democrat from the from the Democrat Party. Uh, Ooh, man, you just you just started. I'm going to start no, a Facebook because, campaign. Because I like this. <coughs> oh, yeah, you just, you just started something. You don't even know it. Me not in the create that right now. Mm -hmm. Well, let him finish. Me okay. not in the community. We have certain people within our community that think that Lloyd Doggett is the next thing to God. You know, mm. while there's very little to show from economic development from Lloyd Doggett in his congressional district. But when his name's on the ballot, yeah, gentrification. boy, our people run to that battle like it, you know. Mm. But uh, I guess all of that. Once the election's over. Were, yeah, the more education, the more Man. social media, the more our people are getting so educated. And uh, once you're educated, then you have a more 
uh, stronger choice uh, or educated choice on who to vote for. I agree. And who to vote. Now, you also need to remember that Are in November... Are you saying it's time for the, the black community to let the, uh, the slave master go? Yes. Mm. Need to he let can't that be blaming those white folks need, no more. Need, mm. need, need, need to let go of that mule. Let that slave master go. <laughs> let us free. But, yeah, uh, I mean, we've been y'all a long time now. Mm. But other than that, you know, being involved, whether you're a Democrat or Republican, is more important to get engaged, get involved. But like the former chair of the Republican Party, Rosemary Edwards, says, get educated mm. on yeah, the candidates. Mm. Because come November, you'll have Democrats and Republicans going to the ballot box that will also be voting for school board and city council. You know, we started doing in my office, we started, we turned off CNN, we turned off Fox News, we actually started l listening to One America News. You ever listen to that? That's some good stuff. That's some One America News, and they have this commercial. Radio, internet, or? Yeah, they have this commercial on there, and it says, don't vote Democrat, don't vote Republican, vote for the candidate. Hmm. Yep. Well, yeah, I'm pretty much been a party type, well, but man. I will admit that I vote for the sheriff. But even... Even though, even within your party, there are different factions within the Republican Party. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. And and some Republicans choose to vote or split split their candidate. Yeah. Well, and that, that goes to what sure. what you're saying. Yeah. You know, vote the candidate. Vote the candidate. You know, start looking at the candidate. Stop disliking a candidate just because they're attached to a certain party. I do want to mention that when we do this, we always get in trouble mm -hmm. because we leave someone out. Libertarian. But I, no. No, I'm, for I'm going back, the back to the parade. For okay. Gloria Moreno, a shout out out there. Oh, She's yeah. been doing a fantastic job. In Constantly one, out one dealing with me, and then the other is coordinating, <laughs> coordinating the, the, the booths that we're going to have out there. I think she told me last night or this morning that we have up to 23 information booths out there. So there will be plenty of information out there. Uh, Bill you know? and Carol Stahl, they're working on the yeah. program. Obviously, Commissioner De Leon. How is HIV uh, in the Hispanic community? You know, it's kind of like silent. It, I don't know if it's because of the lack of publicity. Because I, I noticed that uh, at the Juneteenth celebration, I, I was talking with um, some people that they were passing out some stuff on uh, on HIV and stuff like that, and it's really high in the black community. Mm especially among females. <coughs> well, pretty much. So, so we created the page, by the way. We, huh? we created the page already. Mm. Emancipate the African Americans and, and, and Latinos from the now Democrat Party. You just Party. did that with mm. the phone we right now. We just did that on the phone right now. So if you guys get a chance, do a search. Emancipate the African Americans and the, and the Latinos from the Democrat Party. Like the page. We'll start putting stuff up on there. And, and we'll make Gavino the, we'll make Gavino the, the, the head of, of, uh, of this organization. <coughs> And Mary Jane, and Mary, Mary Jane, Jane. Mary we have been involved in the parade and getting the word out to her friends around the neighborhood. Mary Jane, <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna. In fact, we're, I, we're gonna. I didn't. Uh, I haven't heard anything about AIDS in a long time. True, because it's kind of one of those things that. Isn't well, really not unless about you were gay or an intravenous well, drug user. Yeah. Well, you can, well, and, those, you can get and, those, and that's some of the you know those are some of the things that are really affecting this community you know at a much higher rate than anything else. You have that. You have uh, automobile accidents, you know, but you don't hear any of that stuff because you see that little sign. You see that sign on 35? Yeah, that yeah little sign how on many 35 people have been killed? And where it's like almost 2,000 this year. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Is it almost three? Well, out of, I think it's to three. It's out of to how three. many millions of cars are running the highways in Texas, uh, I don't even know what the population of Texas is now. Right. It's over 35. So those are you know, some of the things that we never, we really don't address. And those are some of the things we need to ask our, our elected official, officials to address because we're putting the same people in office in this town and they're not addressing well, the, now, those now issues. Now we'll get kind of deeper because a lot of these people are against these uh, uh, DWI checkpoints. Mm. Most of these wrecks are caused by... Well, maybe because I don't drink, to me it's not a problem. Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but, well, here, here, well know, here's a fix uh, for I understand that. that part, but... Here's, here's a the fix. idea of it. But here's a fix for that. You know, you need to get, s talk to these taxi companies because the taxi service downtown, that's like a Gestapo down there. Um, you allow other other options into this town. Well, they, they, and then also parking. To. That's true. Parking is also a problem because if, what if I do take a taxi home? If I leave my car downtown parked, you know, it's going to get towed the next yeah. morning. So there's yeah. no option there. Well, well they've made some people. changes to that already. Um, on, on the weekends, you can leave your car there. If you get a ticket, 
Uh, you can take it to the city com you can, you can leave it in, in one of the parking designated parking garages. Um, if you get a parking ticket, you can take it to city to the city hall and they'll they'll uh, waive whatever cause. They'll just say okay, fine, thanks, you know, whatever. Uh, but you have to show proof that you had that you went out. How many people? Campus. Now I don't think that many people know. I, I didn't hear that until you just said yeah. it. Mm -hmm. And then why yeah. even issued a ticket in the first place? Because I, I think part of it was they want to make sure that people were using alternative sources or alternative resources to go home. Well, so you said the alternative sources to go home. They were talking about it on the news one. Right, morning. use your microphone. On the news one, I don't need a microphone. They can hear me out, try to dandy. On um, one day on the news, they were talking about getting a fleet of Google cars. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh no. Oh God, those Google. No Google bad. Yeah, the Google cars. You mean that little bitty thing that? No. That no. drives itself. By you punch itself. in your, you punch in your thing, and it drives you home. Yeah. Maybe we can. Uh, they can get a ride in one of those. <laughs> yeah, Google six car. Street. Well, they have. Well, well they, but they had to be so. good you enough to put in the address. Be, yeah, you got to be sober enough to type in the right Maybe address. Maybe they could just put in the jail and just, you know, just take them straight over there to the jail. <laughs> you know, but anyways, get some Google cars. But you know, going back to that, what do you call it? The stop or checkpoints? Check, the checkpoints. They have them in Mexico. Yeah, well. Monterrey, yeah, but remember, this is in Mexico. I know. We're, we're, I know, we're supposed to be better than if, them. If, oh, if that, con if that country can uh, have has that. You know, what's keeping, are well, we? Because in the 1940s, Japanese. so did Germany and uh, the Soviet oh, Union between all this time. Oh you see, once you go over a certain line, we've gotten so so far away from what America used to be. I mean, you so, got to have a seat belt and everything nowadays. So is your concern more that they, they push the envelope and go beyond the breathalyzer, the, the what, what do you swallow it's alcohol? It's going on down the what? road that we shouldn't need to, it, why don't you wait till the, the idiot commits a real crime and then do it? Like kill somebody? Yeah. Give them options. I mean, give people options. A place to park, you know, like, you like used to said, let, make, sure people, make sure everyone knows that. And then, you know, because there's still people even today, Friday nights, Saturday mm -hmm. nights that are downtown waving, begging for a taxi to right. stop to pick them up. No. You know, we're right. And I apologize for not remembering the app, but there's uh, one of the groups that was pushing yeah. for uh, to come in. And they're actually already in now. They just, they're, they're city cop, Mike, no, huh? Which one? No. They, no. It's um, I just forgot that one. Yes, that one. That one. That one. That one. <laughs> um, it, it's one of the one of the groups that was trying to come in. That that um, uh, we have a person who's running for city council right now, but the lesson Martinez was pushing against it. Hmm. He didn't want to have it in there because he wanted to study it more. And they said because Screw he's it, because he's, you know who's supporting his campaign is taxis. Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh that's Maybe true. Maybe we he's need got to revive the uh, two nickel. Two nickel was a taxi a underground underground taxi service that. Was located right there on Sixth Street and uh, East Avenue, one block is east to the right. If you're going there, it was a shoe shine location mm. with a payphone. Okay. And you would call that number, and you have four or five drivers. Hey, for example, my dad. Just my, dad car, yeah. my dad was one. So they call, hey, got you know there? Yeah. Hey, yeah. I, 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 I need to go to Brackenbridge Hospital. You oh, mentioned that we used to call them the the the, the double nickel in in, in Mexico. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, and the service and that they're providing drive across the border. The service that they're pro Bring providing now on on this app is actually pretty good. Mm. I mean, because they're 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 doing background checks on the people that, that are providing the, the yeah. that are providing the service. That you, we know we can see who is going to be picking us up, the type of vehicle that they're driving. They do the whatever background checks that are out there, and you know you pay whatever nominal fee. The problem that's coming up is like Mike Martinez is is, is, is against it, and he put, he got mad when when they said screw it. Um, we're we're going to go in spite of the study that you want to do. Mm -hmm. Now, the other problem that's coming up is that um, supporters of the ADA, Americans with Disability Act, are, are pushing for them to be more equal because they're saying, well, you're providing this, this, yeah, this service for these people, you should provide this service also for, for disabled Americans. So th there's kind of a little bit of a back and forth in this whole thing, but, there's, but there are programs out there now that are helping them out. You know, I, I, I'm not a big fan of a drunk tank, but you know, if it's that bad, if it's that bad, put them in maybe, there. Maybe it's something run. that maybe it's something that we should do. They pay for the night. It's kind of uh, like staying at the hotel and, and, it, and tell them, look, it's either you pay for this or you're going to pay however much. However instead many. of flagging down a taxi, flag well, no, down a cop. No, you know, no, it's it's not even that. Instead, instead of doing that, it's, the, it's paying the, for the for the fees of the, of the DUI. You, you know, we have the prestigious name of what? Uh, capital world? Or what is it? World capital. Capital. Oh, ca uh, world, uh, live world. music. Capital of the world. Capital of the world. We, we are already there, if not as the drunkest city in, in the world. Mm -hmm. Maybe we need to no, check Vegas. points. Especially after Vegas. the X Games, yeah. 
We're Maybe there. we need to check points. Actually, no. I think I think Philadelphia is a lot worse oh. because they have you know they, they have those game they have those events and their, their stadiums have these uh, drunk tanks and, and well well maybe uh, concentrated. I don't know. True. They may be spread out, but here we have all of Sixth Street, raining, and now coming into the east side. Yeah. You know, for right across uh, from where we were at right Tim's where, house. Right. Where we don't well, want to know. Yeah, I, I, I stick to music <laughs> sprawl going into our battery. I stick to two bars. My bars allow me they allow me to leave my vehicle there, you know, the next morning, at least until one o'clock in the afternoon. Right. So I stick I to that. I like the one that's close to my house. Yeah. It's within driving distance and when I know that it's time for me to go I wind up on my phone. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. Because, you know, I only go there on Saturdays because it's karaoke night. Oh. So. <laughs> no, I forgot you. We're getting far off the parade in, uh, in Juneteenth. <laughs> what else do we like about Juneteenth? I thought it was real good. Any more pictures, Mark? Show me. No, me no we, got, we got the pictures already yeah. already showed up on that. All of them? Yeah. Yeah. Now, we, I do want to hype up something. There's more to come. But yeah, we, we got some more pictures. Up yet. Exactly. Um, I do want to bring up something that I think we need to promote here. Okay. And, is it and drunk it's a, tanks or no, checkpoints? No, it's drunk tanks and checkpoints. It, it's something that's very informative. Well, the July week is coming up. It's, so. it's very informative. Well, it'd be great because you got fireworks. But it's very informative for those people that are supporting. I call the fireworks. Yeah. <laughs> for the supporters of the Second Amendment. Come and talk it. That's right. With Micah Cargill. That's right. Yeah, you had your chance. I, I, I think show. you mentioned right. something that's very important that people need to know especially with the 4th of July coming around, is that if you go outside and you shoot a firearm in the air, mm. it's going to come what? It's going to come down. What, must, come what comes up down. must come down. You're not in Florida. So <laughs> you need to be real careful. Uh, and that hasn't hit mainstream media that. yet. I remember way back when when I was a, a People little, always a do little that. younger, my grandfather would come out with his double barrel shotgun. Which one hasn't come out? Boom, boom, well, boom, that's probably boom. just bird shots. Which one hasn't yeah, come out? Yeah, it was the bird shots, you know. That's Give your dogs Benadryl. Oh, yeah, because it drives my They start, they start freaking out, yeah. crazy. Fourth of July and New Year's. Benadryl. Mm. You hear me, Jane? Where's so, Flanders? Do you need Benadryl? So what, what, what hasn't come out yet? That's your thing? Uh, the, I don't know. The bill? The, the, the Governor Walker, or, or Florida's bill of... Uh, warning shot the bill? Warning, the warning Florida? shot bill? Oh, this is not Florida. This is Texas, so you can't do any warning shots. Yeah, those yeah. are in there. <laughs> Best just come to our parade next Saturday. 8 o'clock, line up. I'm hoping that my party will bring a good crowd out there like last time. Oh, it, I thought it was real good on uh, last, yesterday. I mean, uh, on, on Saturday. On Saturday. It was, it was a great time. I anticipate that, that we're going to have a great time there as well um, for the, for the uh, pre-4th of July parade. And so hopefully it won't be as hot as last year. It was so hot. It was nice out last Saturday. It was supposed to rain. It's supposed to, we're supposed to have scattered showers yeah, all this so week. So it is cooler this summer as opposed to the last. So we anticipate to have a good, good time out there. Uh, the Jamaica does continue the following day on Sunday. And another thing that we're, we are proud to say about our events that it's free. There's no admission. That's right. Oh, no, that's no right. No admission. Uh, you know, and uh, you can bring out the youngins and uh, enjoy the day, both days. I think I've seen uh, face painting and stuff like that last time. Yeah. Didn't yeah. I? So we'll have, uh, the sheriff will be out there. Some vehicles will be throwing candy down the parade. Some, some ca no yeah, bullets. Go. Just candy. Chocolate, candy. chocolate yeah. bullets. <laughs> and, and if I may, I want, I want to add something real quick. We had one of our listeners, uh, Robert Kibbe. Oh, hello, uh, Robert. He, uh, hey, Robert. Um, he wanted to update us on, on the name of the cab, cab company, that, or the service that they're using for the app. It's called Uber. Yeah, Uber that's cabs. Uber cabs. That's they, uh, right. They're the ones that are coming in. So if right. you guys get a chance, take a look. Go to the Uber, uh, go to the uh, Google Play Store. I believe you can download the app there and go through the whole process of uh, taking May a look at what maybe, they're doing. Maybe uh, if I was, you know, in a, in a different state, I'd be more worried about this. But actually, about the only place I get now is out in my porch. My little bucket eyes, that's <laughs> about it. You know? I don't really have yeah. too much to worry about anymore. Every now and then I like to go <coughs> visit Mike I over did there. get a text, you know something what? about... Uh, uh oh, I lost my Chris, focus. Your glasses. <laughs> uh, Livestrong, I think it's gonna be out. Oh, Hard Luck Hounds. Hard Luck Hounds. Oh, that's it. And and Livestrong. 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 They're gonna be out there uh, in the community. Are we already going off? No, no, oh, we, we got, we got eight, eight and a half minutes. We got eight minutes. Oh, okay. Eight okay. minutes anyway. Okay. So oh, the, oh, another thing I liked about the uh, Juneteenth when I was uh, in the parade, I'm, we're driving along in the parade and I'm waving at people, 
had people saying, hey, no, don't throw me candy. Throw me a gun. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought that was kind of funny. So, that was cool. Yeah, that was pretty cool. That happened a bunch You're of right. Time. I think he's right. I think the, the black community does need to come away from the Democrat Party. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Emancipate from... The so well, we got we got the page already started. Sorry, guys, if you guys are interested. You know, there, there are uh, not, maybe a handful, but there is a group of African Americans that are Republican in Travis County. Marilyn Jackson, a good example. Yeah. She There's she several. ran for state rep, District 51. Uh, you know. There's a Frederick Douglass Club in Houston. I think Dallas. We don't have one here in Austin. I don't believe I could find one on the internet anyway. What's the matter? We call it the Cargo Gang. Mm -hmm. Cargo Gang. Gang. Yes. Car Cargo Gang. Yes. Where are we going to have Emancipation Day for the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my <laughs> goodness. I love, I love this. It. This is hilarious. So when, what, what's going to... If, if I may, I want to I jump to one more thing before before we continue or before we get ready to call it a night for the night. Classic um, Next week's show for, for the Come and Talk. Ah. I, I love that show. I got to tell you right now, I love what you're doing on, on the show. Supporting, talking about the Second Amendment, having having the attorney coming on to provide insight, and then you have Justin uh, Delanche mm -hmm. uh, from the Come and Take It group, mm -hmm. and, and, and uh, I forget the other gentleman's name. David Adcock, who's my co-host on the show. Yes. yes. And we're on Talk we're on talk 1370 AM. It's uh, Sundays at 4 PM, and we talk all things firearms. Next Sunday, we're going to talk about the five it's things that, that get lo lawful gun owners in trouble. Really? Uh, five things that get lawful gun owners in trouble. Well, I do, I do, do want to say that we have invited and extended our invitation every year to the Democratic Party. And yeah, they have they, yet to want to participate in our, uh, parade and our festival. So just really? in case those of you that are saying, well, yeah, no, yeah, you're today. a Democrat, why aren't you? No, we've asked the Democratic Party every year to participate. And they don't want to. You think so. the band and, and, that, and you would think this year, of all years, they would participate in a, a party that's for uh, a event that's for veterans, uh, especially since you know we the veterans have taken a big hit this year mm -hmm. with you know the veterans administration um, not providing you know it, adequate it. services to our veterans. Right. Uh, the little situation in California where you had about 60 veterans that are sitting in the morgue in mm. the LA County morgue mm, mm, and mm. the Veterans Administration did not give them permission, give the hospital permission to bury those individuals, give them their rights, and they've been sitting there, they sat there for over a year mm. in the morgue. So you would think they would come out and, and support um, our veterans this pre 4th Mary, July. See, even, even Mary Jane's upset Mary about Jane that. Mary Jane wants to throw in a word out there and, and she's and saying, come on down. She's saying, come on, she's, she's saying, come on down and don't, and, and Democrat Jane, Party, why are you doing this? You want to be emancipated, Mary Jane? <laughs> <laughs> From the Democrat Party? You want to be Party? emancipated? Mary Jane's an independent voter. Yeah, she's a pretty huge, look, there it is. There it is. Uh, there's a pretty huge, yeah, there's a pretty so if you guys get a chance, it, it's going to be emancipate the, the African Americans and, and, and Latinos from the Democrat Party. Go and like the page. We're going to start posting stuff on there tonight. You might have started something. Okay. Uh -oh. you, started a trend, you started a trend, and we're going to do that. We're going to start posting stuff on there, so make sure that people know. Emancipation from the Democrat Party. Emancipate the, yes. And then also, and then once again, tune in on Sunday. Uh, talk 1370 AM at 4 PM. Uh, you can, it, it's live on, on the air. Uh, we also have a podcast. We post it on our Facebook page. Facebook page is Come and Talk It. Um, and also the website is comeandtalkit.com. Makes That's it a, easy to find, huh? Come and Talk It. Come and Talk so It. So whose idea was it? it? Whose idea was it? Um, I, I think, who, who was it that came up with that? With the Facebook. Name? No, with the name, Come and Talk It's It. Facebook. Um, I actually put a... I remember you did that, yeah. The thing out there, and, and do, you, do you remember who's the one that came up with the, the suggestion? actual person? I do not know. Hey. And I that was go, my I have suggestion. To, I forgot. Uh, I have to go back and, trailer, and take a look. Trailer park, yeah. Yeah. Trailer park. Yeah. Yeah. Trailer park. Yeah. But it, that was a good name. Come and talk it, and so we're stuck with it. I love it. Come uh, and talk she's it. She's full yeah. energy, isn't she? Oh yeah, she's And of course, of course, I, I gave my recommendation for the for the for the uh, for the logo, but of course that didn't go through. Um, it was a kitty cat. It says surprise attack, and it goes pew pew pew. You see, that's the only time so, you can accept the cat because it's right. not, you know. Jonas so the says. Democratic Party, any of you out there, including myself, you still have until Friday or even Saturday. Show up, you know. Uh, show your, your you presence. Right next to us, right? Well, well, you know what? We let's go Let's go Do have fireworks? Mm -hmm. This could substitute for the fireworks. Yeah, there you go. The Democratic hey, Party and the Republican Party tent. Fireworks going to be at. Uh, I heard they're they were right gonna, next to each other. Yeah. See which one. I heard uh, the fireworks are going to be at uh, the um, the track. Oh, over there. Really? The Circuit of Americans. Really? Mm. That's what I heard. Is that true? Huh. Possibly. I, 
Possibly. Oh, okay. We'll have to look for that I'll one. Check that out. Yeah. So, so, we've got, so we've got, um, what's his name now? The, I can, you know, Bruce Alphonse. Yeah. Mm. Maybe he can come out and go ahead and, and tell his people to go ahead and, and, and support the veterans, mm. since he doesn't like supporting anything else except for the African Americans. Let's go ahead and support the veterans, because mm. I'm pretty sure there's at least one African American who was out there that, that was a veteran and, and was probably going to go to the parade. And maybe, you can, maybe the, the, the Democrat Party can have a booth or have a tent with their logo on there, and maybe you can get your ass. Mm. Ooh, did I say ass? Mm. Is that possible to say ass? Mm. I think we're okay. You mm. can get your tickets and take your picture in front of there. Three point of contact. Exactly. There you go. Three point of contact. Richard Franklin's a veteran. Richard Franklin's a veteran. He'll be there every year. He's there. Yeah, but, the there. But, but, but you can have Bruce Alphon take a picture in front of the Democrat Party logo over there, but that way he can feel more comfortable and no one gets upset with him. He needs for, some leadership. For, you know, even though he's supposed to be nonpartisan. I didn't think about that, but you're right. He should have he been now he, just fine with taking He has to be nonpartisan because we as taxpayers are paying his salary. Well, he's not nonpartisan. He wouldn't take a picture with us. Well, yeah, but, but what I'm saying is that once he's yeah. in that office, he's supposed to go we're all his constituents, regardless of what party affiliation we are. That is true. Because we pay his salary. Sorry, I can't okay, take a call from you because from you, you're from the Republican Party. Yeah. We got a minute left, so you come on out. So come on out, out to the to the pre Fourth of July parade over at, at uh, I forget the name of the park now. Fiesta yes, Garden. At the Fiesta yes, Garden, or they call it a recognized Chicano Park. Saturday, June twenty eighth. June twenty eighth, eight a.m. Walkers, joggers, those of you that walk up, I mean, wake up on Saturday nine. morning and go out there and do their physical thing. And the parade Inside starts at what time? Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Parade starts it's at a nine. One point two mile. So get, your, so get your lowriders, get your lowrider bikes. Get your lowrider bikes. Yeah. Get, get, get your, your H- pits, Mary get, Jane. Get your H-E-B walkers, uh, uh, mobile walkers over at uh, H-E-B on 7th Street. Take it down over there and then uh, go ahead and... Uh, you just got to give me hell about that, don't you? Yes, because uh, 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 Pokey, need, cause Pokey <laughs> needs a ride. So. <laughs> all right, <laughs> we'll see you at the parade, folks. We hope. Come see us all. all right. And we'll see you next week for sure. Whoop, whoop. Five seconds. Take it out, folks. And we're going to... Oh. From the store, so you can't use them. Well, Damn. Uh, <laughs> next week. All right. We, we, we will go. have candidates in the future, right? Yeah, I uh, hope so. We're going to have another parade, I hope, in the future. Well, we're talking about candidates.